Howdy, this is Ranger, self-appointed water parks correspondent for In The Loop. Today we're here at DreamWorks Water Park in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This place opened in October 2020 and is located inside the new American Dream Mall. It is the only DreamWorks water park in the world and it is the largest indoor water park in North America. I'll show you everything there is to see and do here at this world-class mega park. The park has two major slide complexes at opposite ends of the space and the middle is filled with this wave pool. It's called Far Far Away, it's themed to Shrek, and it's the largest indoor wave pool in the world. It's a great place to swim and enjoy the natural sunlight coming in through the roof. The waves are unique from other wave pools in that they are uniform and all the way across the pool. These waves behave more like ocean waves than what your typical wave pools will produce. There are actually videos of professional surfers performing on the waves in this pool. The water slide towers are all marked with letters and shown on these maps spread throughout the park. Each slide is easy to find if you know its name, but seeing a slide and then trying to find the entrance for it can be a challenge. This is because the map doesn't give a description of each slide. Fortunately, these descriptions are written on the entrance to each tower, and I'll show you what attractions are on each tower. Starting logically with stair A, we have these body slides that end with a drop into a deep pool. Only take these plunges if you are a strong swimmer. The top slide sends riders twisting around this pool a few times before dropping into the pool below. Stair B is home to two identical, record-breaking slides. At 142 feet, these are not only the tallest drop slides in the world, they are the second tallest water slides in the world of any type. The slide entry capsules are entirely above the glass roof over the wave pool, and the path to the top includes a view of the Manhattan skyline. You enter a capsule and a trap door opens to send you on your way down this steep drop. You experience nearly zero gravity for a few heart-pounding seconds as you scream down at breakneck speed. It's the fastest slide I've ever ridden. Just kidding, Farouk is. But these slides are smooth though and don't cause friction burns on the run out. Also on stair B is two more drop slides which are arguably even better than the taller ones. This purple slide offers a thrilling double drop with a moment of weightlessness. The green slide is a typical twisting drop slide experience and it's among the best of its type. Stair C houses the park's tube slides. These green and yellow slides are long and enclosed twisting slides. The yellow one has this intense helix at the end. The red slide is a bowl slide, similar to the body bowl that you've seen right next to it. These slides would be good for younger riders and those looking for a break from the higher intensity slides here. The D stair contains two more body slides. These two are high quality twisting slides with tight turns and sudden drops. Stair E leads to the Dragon Racers, the most bizarre experience in the park and possibly at any water park. The slide itself is an off-the-shelf mat racer with a lateral twist and a drop. The weird part is the slide ends onto platform F. So to ride this you have to walk up stair F, grab a mat, walk down stair F, then backtrack to stair E climb that stairway and then you can finally slide down the slide. This is not only very confusing but it makes rewriting extremely inconvenient. I don't know why a stairway couldn't have been built connecting the run out of the slide back up to the top of the tower because this is the way that most of the other mat slides are configured. Stair F itself boasts Toothless Trickling Torpedo, a water coaster. 
Fun fact, Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon is the only character to have a water coaster and a mock powered coaster themed after him. Groups of two to four sit in line in these rafts and make their way all the way around the park, ascending and descending several hills. The first half of the ride meanders a bit, but the second half of the ride picks up and is more intense. This large drop at the midway point puts the raft at top speed and the two subsequent hills offer good airtime for a water coaster. The visuals are great too as you get a tour of the whole park with multiple tunnels and a couple of visits from some characters. I recommend making this your first stop for the day as Toothless is extremely popular and the line can get very long. Overall, this is good for a water coaster, but it lacks intensity and variety compared to the world's best. Stair F is also home to these cabanas that can be rented. As you can see, there's a bunch more on the other side of the wave pool as well. Those ones are more expensive and have better views and amenities. The final stair towers we'll look at is G and H, which offer a total of three Shrek-themed family raft slides. Shrek's sinkhole slammer, try saying that five times fast, is this ginormous tornado slide. Tornado slides are common, but this one is unique in that it is longer than any other version that I've seen. At the start, the raft will twist its way through the course for several seconds before this drop into the giant funnel. Afterward, the ride continues through a helix before hitting the exit pool. Swamp and Splash is another fantastic rest slide featuring three mini funnels. Rest slides with these features are incredibly rare. This one is better than the only other one I've seen which is at Kalahari in Texas. The drop into each of the funnels is large enough to create weightlessness while ascending the wall. You feel like you will fall out, but you know, in a good way. Dragon and Donkey's Flight is more of a traditional family style raft slide. It is less thrilling, but still offers a couple of unique features. A circle around this giant disc midway through the ride is home to a Shrek character. At the end, the Dragon character spits each raft into the exit pool. Also, in this back section of the park is a kids area, a water playground, and a lazy river. The Penguins Frozen Fun Zone is themed to the penguins in the Madagascar films. The look of this area creates a colorful themed zone that contrasts with the other themes in the park. You'll find a small collection of tiny slides for kids here. Next door is the Kung Fu Panda Temple of Awesomeness! It sounds like a made-up name, but this is literally the Temple of Awesomeness. There's tons of water cannons, buckets, and great lookouts and features to climb on. The Kung Fu Panda theme is well done too. The slides at the top are legitimate full-size body slides. This is an elite water playground, possibly the best I've ever seen. Looping around this whole area is the Bubbly Lazy River. The website says it's the longest indoor lazy river in the world, but it's not really all that long. On my visit, guests were allowed to take one lap around and had to exit. There's some great Shrek theming on the route in a couple of places. I also enjoyed the transition as it goes into the ice theme zone. The last ride on the tour is by the entrance and it's the Sokin Safari. This is a surf simulator, but unfortunately it was closed on my visit. It's too bad too because this model is different than the Flow Rider models I am used to seeing. This one is much more flat. Also closed on this visit was this hot tub. And the swim up bar which looks like a good time. These closures were no doubt pandemic related. A few other notes, the restrooms and changing rooms are easily the best I've ever seen in a water park. Each stall is large, the showers are very clean and have soap and shampoo supplied. The changing rooms also have lockers in them. There are also lockers in the hallway after exiting the changing rooms. We opted for these tiny $12 lockers by the rides though. The theming around the rides was impressive for a water park. 
I also like the bright colored tables and chairs. A few of the corners of the park felt very desolate though. The inner tubes on the lazy river and the slides were too small for adults. It was easy to slip out of them or lose your balance and fall over. The rest slides felt this way too. This might sound crazy, but you will want to wear sunscreen at this park. The sun shines right through the roof and it's possible to get sunburned even if it's not hot outside. Otherwise the temperature of the park is extremely comfortable due to the advanced and highly efficient AC system. Great temps for 365 days a year are one of the biggest reasons to come visit. There is a limited selection of food and beverage available inside the park, but nothing particularly noteworthy. What is noteworthy though, is that readmission is not allowed. You are not able to go to the food court in the mall and then return back to the water park. This might not just be a pandemic policy either. The elephant in the room is the Shrek size price of the entrance tickets. Our Sunday visit was $115 per person plus taxes and fees. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is the most expensive water park ticket in North America, and a family of four is destined to spend over $500 on a day trip here. Tickets are cheaper on non-peak days, but start at $89 as of June 2021. DreamWorks Water Park is a premium experience though. You're getting perfect weather 365 days a year, a deep collection of world-class raft slides, record-breaking drop slides, a water coaster, an exceptional wave pool and great facilities, all of which make this the most complete indoor water park in North America. It will likely take four to six hours to ride everything just once. I don't think DreamWorks stacks up well against other top-rated outdoor water parks, but this is still a world-class facility. Whether or not this is enough to make up for the shrek size entrance ticket prices is really up to your discretion. I will say there is no shortage of people willing to pay these prices on the day that I went. Be sure to check out our other videos from American Dream as we also have a full mall tour and reviews of Nickelodeon Universe theme park and Big Snow indoor ski slope. Thank you for watching this review of DreamWorks Water Park. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on all the social media links listed below and I'll catch you next time. This is Ranger signing off.